Hail Satan, this is Bloodfinger speaking onto YouTube. Hail. Um, a couple things I need to discuss. Um, I'm not going to say where I went or what I did, but I went on a date with the girlfriend today. I thought I'd tell you that she's perfectly fine. She's happy and she's healthy and she likes her presents that I purchased for her a couple days prior. And there really is nothing going on at the moment. I mean, let's just pretend there was an argument or something like that. You guys would probably not find out, but I still care about this woman very much. She is the only thing that keeps me from going completely fucking mad. Okay, maybe that's not the entire fucking truth, but I'm just saying... Okay, maybe what I said was not entirely the truth, but I love this woman very, very much. Nothing has happened to her negatively, and nothing is going to happen to her. I love this woman. Even though she's a Christian, and she believes in the Holy Bible. I told her today that I converted to Satanism, and it's not about devil worship at all. If you don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about, read the Satanic Bible for yourself. And give it a chance if you choose to make that your religion. But if you don't want to make it your religion, that's also okay. You don't have to be a Satanist if you don't want to. I'm not going to shove my beliefs down people's throats like most fucking missionaries. I'm not a missionary. I don't normally... I don't normally convert people unless they want to convert. That's kind of what we, um... Do in a way, but to be honest, I'm not going to fucking convert somebody unless they want to be converted. For example, my friend JW says that he has decided to become a Satanist to make himself stronger within the magic community, or I'm sorry, the magician community, if you could, excuse me, if you can call it a community, I don't know what else to call it. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can call it a coven, you can call it a magician community, or whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use, that's fine. But, I thought I'd let you guys know that I might be going to, um, even though I'm a Satanist, I'm still thinking about going back to the, um, Christian church. It might be um, the church I went to before when I first got out of jail. Or it might be the Mormon church I thought about visiting. Not to convert back to Christianity, but to see what they're about. If you heard that I farted, my apologies. I'll open the door so that the smell doesn't get on my fucking clothes. Um. Um. Even Marilyn Manson met Anton LaVey, and I thought that was fucking awesome as fuck. I mean, I wish I could have met Anton LaVey too, and he was the founder of my church. Satanism is my religion. Satanism is my belief and I cannot build an altar till I'm off of probation and that won't be till fucking next year so by this thing ooh, excuse me I'm tired of shit um I love my girlfriend very much. 
I don't want her to be converted. She's welcome to worship whatever the hell she wants. And if she and I ever have children one day, then those children can either um, follow her faith, or they can follow mine, or whatever. But they have to choose their own path, is what I'm trying to say. If they want to resonate with Satanism, that's fine. But if they resonate with the Holy Bible, like it did for me in the beginning, that is their choice. If they want to follow Jesus, or if they want to follow Anton LaVey. I have high hopes for this new satanic religion. I have high hopes for Satanism. And I do not believe that Satanism is going to disappoint me at all. I do not believe that. I mean, you guys may have your own opinions, that's fine. But in my opinion, Satanism, to me, is what I'm looking for. After all these years. The magic. The altar. And the people. I wish I could create my own congregation. A satanic congregation. But you cannot have everything you want. And like I said before, my girlfriend happens to be a Christian. So... Whether or not that her, um... Her, um... Spiritual, um... I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, if her God, and I'm not supposed to believe in God because Satanism is kind of an atheistic religion, I still think that whoever she believes in should not only forgive me, but forgive her for whatever sins or crimes she may commit in the future or past. If she does commit crime or sin. I believe that she should be forgiven. She is like the first fucking person I've forgiven. Back when I was still a Christian. But I'm no longer a Christian. And my religion believes that if somebody smites you on one side of the fucking cheek, you fucking smash him on the other. Back when I was a Christian, I forgave her and I have real strong feelings for this girl. I mean, really fucking strong. I just don't want her religious family, and I don't want her religious upbringing to get in the way of my religious um, beliefs. And I don't want her family finding out that, um, that I took a different route in life. I mean, I love this girl with all my heart, and I don't want people to think I'm some kind of fucking satanic monster. I mean, look at me. I mean, I know you can't really tell because I'm wearing a scary mask and a black cape, but am I really not much of a fucking asshole? Because if I am, how come I'm not in fucking handcuffs right now, being transferred to a fucking jail in fucking... I don't give a fuck. Effort County or something. If there is one, a jail in Effort down there. If there is a fucking jail down there. How come I wasn't brought to justice yet? Ask yourself this. If I'm really that much of a bad guy, how come I haven't brought to fucking justice yet? I mean, what is your supposed God do even doing? Is he gonna press charges against me? Is he gonna fucking, uh, build a case against me? No, he's not. I mean, maybe when I'm fucking on my deathbed, he might damn me for all eternity or some shit. I don't fucking give a flying rat's ass. I know what you're thinking. You're going to probably say, 
Oh, you are gonna regret saying that when you do go to hell. I mean, let, I mean, if you guys are really that hell-bent on me going to hell, why don't you get your fucking lazy asses down to hell and fucking set everything up for me? You ever fucking thought of that? Get off your fucking lazy asses and get fucking down there and prepare every fucking tor tormenting device and get it all ready for me. If I'm that much of a fucking bad guy, how the fuck am I still alive? And how the fuck am I out of jail? I've even been accused of horrible things because I'm a Satanist. Well, think about this. When I hear about Christians and Catholics, I think of fucking murderers and child molesters. And they want to blame Satanists for being murderers and child molesters. Now the fucking Christians and the fucking Catholics are the real fucking predators in life. They are the real monsters, in my opinion. But I'm not going to fucking um, accuse every single Christian of being a monster or a murderer or a rapist. I'm just saying that whenever I hear about Christianity and Catholicism, I think of murderers and child molesters. Look at the pr Catholic priests. They're not allowed to touch women. They gotta release their fucking sexual energy somehow. And they do it with young boys. You ever think about that? You never think about the hundreds and hundreds of stories online. Of priests, Catholic priests become fucking predators. Raping and molesting young kids and women or men have you ever fucking thought about that so if they can do something horrible in the name of Jesus I could do something wonderful in the name of Satan I'm not a bad guy I'm just misunderstood and go ahead call me a fucking devil worshiper Call me a fucking sinful soul who's going to straight to hell. Maybe I am going to hell. But at least I think that fucking... At least I know that I'll be alive for a very long time. So I got, I don't know, plenty of time is the right fucking word. Because I could be dead tomorrow and not know it. But you know what? I love life. I'm looking for something to fucking hold on to. And I don't think that holding on to a woman is the best choice of words or the best answer. But even if we, she and I were separated or just friends, I'd still hang around with her. I'm just saying if we were just friends instead of dating, I'd still be in her life. Not gonna fucking change a goddamn thing. But I love this girl. I wish I could join her in the afterlife, but in the af but in her afterlife, she's going to heaven. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but I wish I could join her in death one day. So she and I could be together in death and in life. I know it's the other way around, but I don't give a fuck. Maybe my girlfriend could somehow convince me to come back to Christianity and come back to Jesus and come back to God. But until then, I'm going to be a fucking Satanist because I find more fun in making things manifest by myself. I haven't really done anything to make anything manifest in my life. But you know what? Things could be better. I wish you guys could understand my struggle. But you know what? I believe in my heart that I woke up with powers I never knew I had. I believe that I was born a Satanist. I believe I was 
never ever meant for the Christian faith. I never ever in my life dreamed that fucking Christian crosses would fall right off my fucking neck. Never believed it until it actually happened. And it wasn't just one fucking cross. It was like five or six crosses I tried to purchase new fucking chains for and they all fucking got destroyed. Not because I pulled them off my neck, but because they magically fell off my fucking neck. They magically just fucking fell right off. I had a fucking fellow inmate tell me that I wasn't meant to wear a cross at all. That I was meant for Satanism. And I was still a Christian when I got out of jail. And if he truly exists, if he truly is out there, I appreciate what he's done for me in the past, but the past is now the present, and my future is with Satanism. I'm not saying I don't love him. I'm just saying that I appreciate what he did for me in the past, but those days are over. I'm a Satanist now. I'm not supposed to believe in God or Jesus. I'm not supposed to believe in them at all. I'm supposed to believe in myself. We don't believe in spiritual pipe dreams, but I still want to thank somebody for making sure that I'm still alive and not dead. And I'm very grateful that I'm still alive. But like I said before, but like I've said in previous videos, that I want to try other things. If I try Mormonism, that's my decision. If I try the Satanic Temple, for example, I'm gonna fucking give it a try. And damn everything else. Now I'm gonna get going now, cause this fucking video is like 17 minutes long. And I gotta go to bed soon because I got work tomorrow. Right after lunch. So, good night. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Later.